So I'm going to call a customer. Um, he bought a car from us, and shortly after he bought it, the 12 volt battery um, had a warning that it needed to be replaced, which is super common and not expensive. And so, of course, um, we said, "Yeah, no problem. We'll, we'll reimburse you for that." And, and there's no way that it just—it's like a battery that goes out on your phone, not your phone, um, in a device. It just happens sometimes, and so there's no way to know that it's happening. Otherwise, we'd do it before we sold the car. So he bought it, and it was close enough to when he bought it from us that we said, "Oh yeah, of course. You know, we'll totally pay for that." So just set up a service appointment with Tesla, and uh, and they'll fix it, and we'll Venmo you the money. So he unfortunately waited um, like four or five days, didn't do anything about it. And if you don't do anything about it, then the car will die because it's the small battery. The 12 volts is the small battery that kind of gets the car started. And so that was kind of his bad. He's like, oh man, I, I'm sorry. So he got the car taken into Tesla and they got it there and they checked it in and they said, this is a salvage title. This is James. James, hey, it's Alex at EV Auto. Hey, how are you doing, man? Good, man. You got a minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just kicked it out on the park bench. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I, I texted you some info, but it's just easier to talk. So I haven't heard back from Tesla yet a second time, but we've all been talking here. We have the full Carfax in front of us on that car, and it's clean as clean. No accidents. Certainly no salvage or branded title. It's you know one owner coming from uh, California. It's all the things that we require when we buy a car. I never would have bought the car, uh, period, oh, sure. if, it, if it had any issues. So um, I know you trust us, but yeah, we didn't sell you a car with a, a branded title. And so I called Tesla and I said, look, you know, you guys know cars. You can hide maybe like a minor accident by paying cash if no cop was involved, that kind of stuff. But, uh -huh. but as far as the three of us know here and the guy that I talked to Tesla, I'm like, I don't know how you'd hide a salvage title. And that's why I'm not. That's why I'm not like, uh, you know, extremely irritated or put out by this because I, I know you guys want to get me taken care of either way. Because even, because I even, so I just showed up here and I was just like, hey, like, what's the deal? And they're like, oh yeah, like we've only seen this maybe once or twice in the entire time of being here. But like, apparently they're even saying like, yeah, like for us we can't, we can't do anything with this. Like. It, when it's like this, it's it was like they deemed it a, a salvage title here. And they're like, yeah, we'd have to do a bunch of work to it. And like, we can't sign off. Like apparently all of the, all of the, and, and I'm just more giving you this advice for whoever you bought it from to go back and be like, dude, are you serious? You know, like, cause apparently like they, yeah, like they, uh, all of the, the battery warranties are void on it. And, uh, yeah, well, that's it's that's old. true if the if the if it's a salvage title, but again, it's not. There's a mistake. So I talked to them, and uh, what what we're gonna do is a high voltage inspection, and once uh, high voltage inspect. So what they're saying, this is actually exactly how it went down. They're not. I don't know who you're talking to, but they're not being totally uh, straight with you. So they check it in, and when they checked uh, it in, it told them it's a salvage title. They didn't deem it one. They they were and so they uh, so they so they throw their hands up in the air and say. We don't work on salvage titles. You don't keep the car. We don't keep the car. And so, uh, yeah, we'll definitely um, take care of you. Uh, but, again, I'm still pretty dang optimistic that it's a mistake, not an actual thing. And so, Oh, me too. Um, and worst case, um, like if this is a good number, worst case I can call you when I'm with the tech as well. And, like, yeah. yeah let me, let like me give you my cell phone, James, because this rings through to our company line, and sometimes other people will – will oh, uh, yeah, pick up yeah, the yeah, number so that ugh, it's frustrating so i mean you heard the call there's just no way i mean the carfax is completely clean we would never have purchased the car if it wasn't completely clean so anyway i feel bad for our customer because he's just got a little 12 volt battery issue which is easy to repair and we were happy to pay for it and it's turned into this big debacle so hello my name's caitlin i'm a tesla advisor hi caitlin how's it going Good. How about yourself? Good. Um, do you want me to? Uh, yeah. Tell me what's going on. So um, my technician found that there's structural damage to the car and that it needs it has alerts for the uh, high voltage battery that needs to be replaced. So Tesla practice is in the car a self-titled vehicle, supercharging gets automatically turned off. 
gets reported to the system if the car get, got hit hard enough, that's when it also will report in the system. So someone might have not reported this accident and they probably got it fixed at a, a different shop, paid out of pocket, and then auctioned it off. I don't know the history of the car. And so that's how it's not showing salvaged on Carfax. Um, but with these cars, since they are computers, it alerted Tesla that it wasn't an accident and a severe one. And so what we have to do is we have to run tests on it to make sure that it's safe for our technicians and the customer to drive. And if it doesn't pass, we sometimes are able to recommend things to fix it to get it to pass. Other times it just won't pass. And then once it does pass, if you want supercharging turned back on, you also have to pay for that test because it has harnesses and other items that connect to the charge port. So total for both those um, inspections, it comes to a short, well, a little more than $1,600. And then that's just to start with this car because there's a lot of other stuff that needs to be replaced, like the high voltage battery. So it's going to go over $12,000 easily. So a couple of questions. I have the physical title and the physical title is clean. So it's mm -hmm. not possible for somebody to pay cash and not have the title impacted. Also, if it was in a severe accident, there'd be a police report, and there's no police report on the Carfax. Um, so can you give me the date of when your system says it was a, in an accident? No, that's internal knowledge. It's not allowed to release that information. Uh, we just see that there is structural damage to it. It won't power well, well, on. Well, structural damage isn't the same as salvage title, though. It can it, that a salvage title is very different uh, potentially than structural. Well, it, it's now marked in the Tesla system as salvage, and I can't release any information besides what I just released to you. But I have a I have a physical title that shows clean. That doesn't make it clean to Tesla standards because of the damage to the car. But you won't share that damage, so. I'm not going to, yeah, I can't share times, dates, alerts, all that stuff. That is internal Tesla, and that's, um, you're welcome to go to Tesla Legal and request that information about that VIN, but we would not be able to release any further information about the vehicle from this point on. So the warning light that was on before was for the 12-volt battery. You say there's a high-voltage alert now? If it's, uh, I don't know. I haven't looked that much. It will say specifically low-voltage battery needs replaced if it says electrical system shutting down sometimes that's related to the 12 volt but it can also have what's called a bms alert which is related to the high voltage battery i would love if it was just a 12 volt battery that's a 20 minute job on a tesla and it would be out of here and uh, i'd make james day i would have to take away his battery warranty drive unit warranty all that stuff I, well you don't we you don't, don't, don't get do to just randomly take stuff away that, that's not that's uh, tesla can tesla is uh, welcome to take those warranties away if the vehicle is salvaged, and it is. No, it's not. So I've got, to, I have okay, proof I'm, I'm that no it's not. I'm no longer going to continue this discussion, sir. You're welcome to go to TeslaLegal.com from this point.